director of Urban Bushwoman Dance Company. Urban Bushwoman Performance Ensemble, I should say, uh, is based in Brooklyn, and we are thrilled beyond belief to be here at ASU um, for this amazing 10 days that we've been here for our 18th Summer Leadership Institute. This is our first time being hosted by ASU Projecting All Voices um, and all of the wonderful, amazing support that has come with that. The Institute is 10 days, 10 days of learning together and looking at what does it mean to look at our values, to look at anti-racist organizing, to look at our values around entering, bu entering, building, and exiting community. And how do we take that learning and put it into our bodies, into our songs, into our hearts and minds as a way to reinforce, deepen, strengthen, and integrate what we've been through and what we know in life from these last 10 days. We are uh, thrilled that our partners of People's Institute for Survival and Beyond have been with us for the whole 10 days of this work. And if you haven't had a workshop with People's Institute Understanding and Undoing Racism, we invite you to find them, run to them, go to them, so that we can all do this great work together to be whole as a country, to be whole as individuals, and to find that deep, humanistic, beautiful expression of our full, fullest, greatest selves. In this process of the last 10 days, one of the processes we use, we use is asset mapping. And in asset mapping, we look at what are the assets in the room. And out of the assets in the room, the performance is created. So everything that you will see on stage was created by the people who have been a participants in these last 10 days. They have developed songs and dances and ways of really deepening what has come up, the questions, the, the affirmations, the challenges, and deepen that into our art making. So thank you very much for being here, and we are thrilled, delighted, and to be here.
Everything has a cost, my mom would say. I think, surely, not language. How can something that at its essence is pure and free have a cost? It's felt innately, received by all, given freely. How can it have a cost? It can convey remorse, pain, joy. That was my reality. But then I grew, I learned, I experienced. And I realized, like with most things, my mom was right. There had been a cost, and I had been paying on it the whole time. And finally, my debt had come due. Under all of the watchful eyes, the uninformed spectators, I had been paying the cost the whole time. Through all of the, excuse me, what's that? The, here brown girl, wear these pink tights. The tuck your butts. Under his eye. I have been paying the cost the whole time. Now, I probably could have continued to pay the cost physically, but I realized that the emotional and mental costs were way too high. Ultimately, I decided to relinquish my first tongue. And I took on the language of my oppressor. The Treaty of La Mesilla. The Chinese Exclusion Act. The Three Fifths Decision. Dred Scott. Plessy versus Ferguson. Westminster versus Mendes. SB 1070. HB 2281. The Muslim Ban. Brown versus Board of Education, 1954. Kill the Indian, save the man.
of this movement. Can we all hold a meeting about this? When are you free? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll make a doodle poll.
this ain't your body. I said, I said, this ain't your body. It's my body. So what so what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and Bright stars through the perilous fight. I pledge. I pledge. Oh, the red part we want. Oh. 
better this way. I'll just, I'll sit this way. Uh, uh, we, Can we, we don't need that extra chair, sorry. You just, don't need nope, chair. nope, don't need it. <laughs> Hi, this next piece is a piece about white fragility. <laughs> irrelevant, off the table. There's a you, a silent you, a we. Good intentions will not support the you, the me, the we. Step back, backseat, backtrack. But take. Wait. I take, take. Responsibility. Without taking center stage, without changing the conversation.
I've been thinking about becoming a house for a life, a new life, maybe, possibly, hopefully. My internalized racial superiority tells me that I don't deserve to be a house, that my body, this body, a big body, is not a house. And that I don't deserve to dance in this body, a big body. And I feel it. I feel it in the rolls of my stomach, in the thickness of my thighs, I feel it in my hips, and I feel it in my womb. And I've been here, liberating my pelvis, moving in my body, living in my body. And I'm starting to think, Maybe I can be a house for myself. Maybe I can dance in this body. And maybe I could be a home to a new life, possibly, hopefully. It was how I filtered the world. I filtered the world through my body. But then, but then my daddy said, small girls don't move like that. Smart girls don't move like that. Smart girls don't move like that. He said, don't you want to be an engineer? Not moving like that.
question is that. I am who I am. Just let me be. I'm sorry, because I'm not. But I am, but I'm not. But I wish, but I don't. I want to be like them, move like them, feel like them. I want to be who I am. I am wobbling on this line of affinity, not knowing where to stand, for I grew up with the Mexican culture caressing me, caring for me, loving me. But lately, the whispers of my ancestors have been <laughs> overcome by the screams of whiteness, and the screams of whiteness are trying to convince me that whiteness is rightness, and I don't know where to stand, porque no soy de aquí ni de allá. No soy de aquí ni de allá. I am here in spirit and whiteness in mind. Soy de tierra de aztecas, de serpientes, de colores. Me miras y me dices que no soy mexicana, pero yo amo esta tierra. Mmm, chocolate. Just the thought of you jumps off my tongue, slides down my spine, and melts my thighs. Mmm, chocolate. Bite back when they try to debase you. Swirl on them if they try to act better. Because mmm, chocolate, liberation only makes us taste better. What kind of black am I? The light-skinned kind. You're so smart, go to the head of the class kind, but you're absolutely ugly with that frizzy hair kind. The kind with a white mother, two generations from Portugal here. The kind with a black father, been here working generations, generations, generations. What kind of black am I? The kind that's never confused. Clear as both my grandmother's stories. Clear as a one drop rule. I see you. 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 We see you. But we will not focus on you. We must focus on us. Refrain.
My father's mother, I just learned her name two days ago, Elizabeth Bussey Thomas. Now about two years ago, I had a dream. I had twins, Eli and Eliza. Now I just learned my grandmother's name, Elizabeth Bussey Thomas. Eliza, Elizabeth. They both mean the same thing. God is my oath. Am I supposed to find out my grandmother's legacy and her characteristics for my daughter? I may be lost, but I will be found.
from the West Coast, California, Oregon, Washington. Come on. California, Oregon, Washington.